Influencing popular culture, politics, and everything in between. The local station takes you ringside as we discuss the crazy world that is professional wrestling. This is Going Ringside with the local station. Hey there, thanks for joining us today for another episode of the Going Ringside podcast. Special episode because in studio with me today is the star herself, Timeless Tony Storm, AEW's women's champion. She's coming to Jacksonville for a Rampage uh, or for Dynamite on the 24th of uh, April, as well as Rampage and Collision on the 27th over here at Daly's Place, which is home base for AEW, if you didn't know. So, Tony Storm has really become an iconic character. Seldom do we see anyone have this much success when they morph their character. Tony Storm was in WWE, did some indie work, then came to AEW and had some success. But when she took on the character of Timeless Tony Storm, which is a throwback to the film era of yesteryear, Marilyn Monroe, uh, Lauren Bacall, and all the other great timeless actresses, that is what Tony Storm has become. So I wasn't quite sure what I'd get in this interview. We're getting Tony Storm here and I thought, who am I getting here? When she walked in the door, she was timeless, Tony Storm, from beginning to end. She says she wakes up like that, and I adamantly believe it. She does not break character ever. She is timeless, Tony Storm, through and through. And the character is working. She is getting huge pops at every AEW show all across the world, all across the country. And she told me they have another big Wembley show coming this summer. Last year, they set the record, the world record ever. 81,000 fans saw her lose the title. She hopes to change that this year. But anyway, let's get to it. Here's our interview with AEW Women's Champion, Timeless, Tony Storm. Well, we are overjoyed to be joined by the lady of the hour, the lady of the century herself, Timeless Tony Storm. Tony, thank you for joining us on the show today. Thank you, darling. How are you? Well, let's first get to it because we're in Jacksonville, Florida right now where AEW is headquartered and you guys are coming back here for a big show on the 24th and 27th. That's it. Yes, we're happy to be back. Back to the home of All Elite Wrestling. So talk huge. to me about AEW. You know, we got a lot of viewers that know a little about what this AEW thing. It's headquartered here in Jacksonville. Talk to me about AEW and why is it, why it has really become this juggernaut of an entertainment company. Well, it's the hot new thing in professional wrestling. You know, for the longest time, um, you know, there's always been WWE, WWF. That's been, they've kind of been all that is wrestling but now we have all elite wrestling which is uh kind of shaken up the whole wrestling world and now, uh yeah i do want to say a lot of our viewers may not be familiar with you tuning in right now and going she doesn't look to me like a pro wrestler you look a little more like maybe a marilyn monroe talk to me a little about who timeless tony storm is what can I say? Maybe she's more of a violent Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Very violent yeah. Marilyn Monroe. And a heavyweight champion yes. right now in AEW yes, with your chair. third run yes. as AEW champion. My third run? Yes, I'm the best. I'm the best at this. So, um, you know, they've, I've had the title three times. Well, so talk to me about if they come to the show in Jacksonville or if people are watching out of the area and they want to go to an AEW show in their town. What are they getting? What do they get when they show up in an AEW show? You are in for a night of craziness you know the, yeah. our shows are they're, they're extreme they're a little crazy uh so you know ex, ex, strap yourself in for the night yeah, yeah. It, it is chaotic so i'm there of course it's chaotic so right now who's your big feud with i think i know the answer here yes right now the thorn in my side is a woman by the name of thunder rosa she has beaten me twice i am yet to beat her she is my arch nemesis I do not take to her too kindly. No. Yes, she is a she is a she is a swear word in my household. In she my is mansion. a she is a swear yeah, word you in your household. Don't talk about her in my mansion. Okay. But at Dynasty on April twenty first, we have a big pay per view. Mm -hmm. Big pay per view. It's in St. Louis. That's going to be the night where I finally beat that dirty rotten Thunder Rosa. You finally beat her. And yes. I want to wrap up our news and we're going to keep talking wrestling for our wrestling viewers but uh april 24th and 27th tickets still available people can come see you live and in person yes you will see me still the aew women's world champion okay now yes. let's let's get a little more into the wrestling right keep rolling here for all our wrestling fans to tune in 
Talk to me about Thunder Rosa. How did that start? You two do not like each other, it seems like. Well, we were a team once upon a time. We yeah. were called Thunderstorm. Very creative, I know. But, yeah. you know, when it comes down to this little baby, there's no time for friends. There's no time for teams. She was a champion at the time, and I thought, hmm, excuse me, but it's time for me to do some serious business here. And why don't you like her? I mean, what happened? I mean, you were a team. You seemed to be getting along well, and then no, nope. that didn't change. No. Nope. When it comes down to this, no friends, no friends. You see, she, she was injured. She had to, she had to leave. She had to leave because she couldn't handle the pressure of being a champion. She had a back injury because she couldn't. She was not strong enough to carry this mountain of gold right here. Gotcha. So then I came in, became champion. I've been champion three times. Well, let's talk about that. Three times. The first one was a little over a year ago. Yes. Talk yes. to me about that title victory. Well, that was when Thunder Rosa was, she was out. So mm -hmm. there was a four-way match. I, of course, won. Of course. Yes, and then, and then I lost it. But then I won it again. And then I lost it again. In front of 81,000 people? I, I'm glad you mentioned that, Yes, sir. okay. Let's I'm talk, glad. Let's talk right, about what happened in London. Let's get it out of the way. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. It went tits up at Wembley Stadium. It went it tits did. up there. It went completely tits up. It was meant to be my grand homecoming. 81,000 people all there to see moi. Defend my title. I lose. There. Is that what you wanted to hear? I lost. I lost in front of the... Biggest crowd of all time. Of all time. Of Literally all time. of all time in pro wrestling. It was meant to be my moment. It that had to be humiliating. It was, it was the worst. It was the worst time of my life. I'm, I will never get over it. I will never be at peace with it. And it will never happen again. Never happen again. It will never, You will be ever. the champ ad infinitum. I will never walk into Wembley and walk out a loser ever again. That was the last, the first and last time. Okay. It will it'll never happen, and I don't care who's standing across the ring from me. I don't care how big and strong they are, who mm -hmm. they are, where they come from, what they can do. I will not be humiliated like that again. You will not be humiliated. Absolutely not. 2024, assuming you dispatch with Thunder Rosa as you intend to, what, do you, what is coming for you in 2024? Well, we have another Wembley coming up. You do? All in, yes, oh, again. Oh, I mean, let me stop. That's going to be in August. Is that, are, you, are you guys looking for a similar crowd? Of what you had in August last year? I, I, I would hope so. Yeah. I assume that it would be, you know, a full house. I'm there. And they, will, they won't, you know, see me lose this time. So, I mean, it's going to be packed. I've always been fascinated by AEW's media partner in Warner Brothers, which seems perfect for you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> My old friends at Warner. Yeah. Yes. Old Jack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I have a very close relationship with her. Warner Brothers. I always have. I, uh, they have a Warner Brothers studio on the Gold Coast of Australia, which is where I grew up. Uh, yeah, tell me about that. You grew up on the Gold Coast. Yes, at Warner Brothers uh, studio. I know nothing Gold about the Gold Coast. I know nothing about Australia. Tell, what is that like down there? I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful place. It's where I got all my training. And they have a Warner Brothers studio. That's where I spent my time. I went to yeah. school right around the corner from it. Gotcha. So... I want to ask about a few names that have come across your path in recent months. One would be uh -oh. Deanna Perrazzo. Mm, Donna Palazzo. Yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan. Okay, so someone told me this, and I, I didn't know until they told me, you have matching tattoos? We, well, not anymore. I've changed it. You've changed it. I've changed it for a new role. Yes, I, I will not be sharing any more tattoos with Deanna again. I won't be sharing anything. Most certainly will not be sharing this. See, she, she comes to AW, marches in, tries to get at this. What kind of friend is that? What not kind of friend? friend? Not a good friend, yeah. So no more tattoo, no more matching tattoo, no more nothing. And you dispatched with her. I'm done with her. You are done. She can come for me all she wants. She can get on her bike, okay. out the door. I'm going to ask about a powerful name to show up in your area recently. Go on. Uh, Mercedes Monet. Ah, yes. Thoughts Ms. on Ms. Monet. Ms. Monet, yes. She's all about the money. The Monet, the money. Mm -hmm. I'm sat right here. I am arguably money, aren't I? Yeah. No, she call it talking all this money talk, all this money talk. Uh, the money's right here, darling. The money's right here. I have this. I have this. What more do you need? Exactly. Sky blue. Oh, that little... Mm. That little mouse. 
She's always up to no good. She's she always is. trying some kind of trickery. Some kind. She's always doing something. She's always up my bum. She needs to get out. She's uh, become a viral sensation on wrestling fan groups. Are you aware of this? Of course she is. Of course she is. The only time people have something nice to say about Sky Blue is when they're taking pictures of her bottom. Goodbye, Sky Blue. Goodbye, Miss Blue. Come back when you're old enough. Julia Hart. Oh, yes, that young horror star, Julia Hart. You know, I haven't, I haven't run into her too much. She's a little bit scary. She's a good young girl. I want to ask about a name that we haven't seen much of lately, and I just wonder if there will ever be interaction. She's a dentist, Ooh, Britt Baker. Oh, that dentist. Can we just talk about it? A yeah. woman dentist. A woman dentist. Women in the workplace. You're not supporting that? Isn't it? Just, I just can't believe how far we've come. Okay. I just can't believe it. A woman in the medical field. And also in professional wrestling. Could we feasibly see you in her cross paths? I believe we already have. Yeah. And I believe, you know, she doesn't like me too much. She doesn't like you too much. I don't blame her. I'm sat here with this little huckleberry and she is not. She's out there pulling teeth and she should stick to it. She should stick to it yes. and not try and pull that from you. Yes, here. you stick to your teeth, love. Let's talk about some closer to home. Mariah May and the butler Luther. Ah. Let's start with Luther. Luther. How did that come about? Well, he was appointed to me by the studio. You know, I'm, as, I, as you know, the champion, and you know, I, I bring so much to all elite wrestling. You know, I'm the, the biggest star. So they appointed me Luther, my butler. He's moved in to me, with me to my, uh, with my, in my mansion. He's, uh, he takes great care of me. Um, but you know, he is, he is a big buffoon sometimes. Oh, he really is a foolish bum. But, do you, do you, know, you feel you're control. you're taking advantage of him in any fashion? Oh God, no! I make sure that all my staff are paid very well. He has nothing to complain about. Another one, Mariah May. Mariah, Miss Mariah. Yes, she came to All Elite Wrestling to follow in my footsteps. And Smart how girl. is she doing? She's doing fantastically. She's listening to me. She's really, she's really blossoming. If someone sees you out on the street, are they going to see you? to the nines like you are right now? Absolutely, I woke up like this. You this woke up like this? Minimal effort, minimal effort. Talk to me about the formation of your, uh, what has really become your catchphrase. Yes, I know, I'm forced to say it a lot. But it's good advice, wouldn't you agree? Uh, Shoot up, tits out, watch for the shoe. Don't make me take this shoe off. How often have you had to throw a shoe at people? Oh, just I've about noticed, every day. And then let me say, as a professional interviewer, I've noticed you somewhat abusive of a lot of the interviewers. Abusive. Shmusive. Well, I mean, you see them ducking shoes a lot. Well, they shouldn't get cheeky with me now. If, I, if that is what I have to do, then so be it. If I have to, you know, discipline with, with my shoe, sometimes that's all I have on me. I interviewed uh, the boss man, Tony Khan, a while ago, ah. and I didn't know the context. And I asked him, what is with this press conference of you wearing sunglasses and a hat? Uh, you coerced the boss into doing that at a press conference. Well, I can't say that I thought he would let me, but he did. And then I can't say that I thought he would keep it on, but he did. He did. I thought it looked great. So everyone online, no one had the, a lot of people didn't have the context. They're like, why is he dressed like that? <laughs> and then it became almost memeable. What was the thoughts backstage on that? That was me. That was you. That was me. My apologies, Mr. Khan. It happens. How has he been doing as a boss? Talk to me about Tony as a boss, because here in Jacksonville, we're a base. You know, he runs the football team. He runs AEW. Well, he helps run the football team with his dad. He runs AEW. You know, what's he like as a boss? What can I say? The man doesn't stop. I've never seen him sat still for long enough to, to, to know that. He's, he does not stop. He's the hardest working man I've ever seen. You he guys, internet critics are toxic. They are just constantly toxic. I wouldn't know about that world. Do you avoid? <laughs> I'm sure for a few reasons, but do you avoid that world? Yes. Oh, I don't know much about it. This really? face talk thing. Face talk thing is not your thing. Not really. Yes, I have Luther read out the trades here and there, but gotcha. Not very familiar with all this. Maybe Facebook a little marking. more variety is your. Yes. Is your yes. I'm, I like to keep it simple, old fashioned. So I've had a pet peeve as a wrestling fan for a long time that there's, and I'm not going to name them, there's only two wrestling people on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Do you think that needs to change? Who's the other one? 
One is a guy who used to own a company. The other guy is uh, he's a movie star right oh, now. Oh, yes. But that's it. I mean, there's not a lot of wrestlers on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Do you think that needs to change? We can't all be on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, can we? But your time might be coming down the road. My time has happened, darling. Your Have you not seen it? That's true. Yes, exactly. So as far as AEW, you were another, you've wrestled elsewhere. You're in AEW now. Yes. What was that decision like? How did that process work? Well, before AEW, yes, yeah. I was a WWE superstar. Yeah. Eventually came a time where I thought, I must branch out. Why? My Something was calling for me. There was something inside of me that says, Tony, no, your destiny is elsewhere. And so I went for it. I don't know what come over me. One of the, it was uh, a blur. One of the quotes I read before we started here was crushed the love of wrestling for a while. Oh, something like that. I mean, it was all so many things. So many things. It was so many things. It was a, looking back, it was a, it was a crazy time in my life, you know? It was, um, I'm still trying to make sense of it. But I'm happy with where I've landed. I'm happy, with, I'm happy with the decision that I made. And we've talked a lot about the female stars. I want to talk about some of the male stars that you oh, have on. on the show here. I just want to name a few. A guy on the poster who's coming with you is uh, Brian Danielson. Yes, yes, Brian Danielson. He's pretty good, isn't he? He is. He's from my hometown. I'm a big ah, fan. Yeah. Yes, he's, he's really getting the hang of this wrestling thing. He is. He does pretty well. You guys have brought in a guy who can't get past his former best friend and Adam Copeland. What has Adam Copeland been like to work oh, with? He's a fantastic man, isn't he? Yeah. I was always such a big fan of him back in the day. And now, today, he's just a really big fan of me. And Christian just seems to be evil toward him. Oh, yes, he's a, he's a dastardly fellow, isn't he? Yeah. I'm a big fan. Uh, your male champion on the other side, the guy who shares the gold with you, is it still Samoa Joe? It's just, Mr. Joe, yes. How Samoan has Samoa Joseph. Joe been doing? Samoa and Joseph, he, well, what can I say? It speaks for itself. He absolutely annihilates people. I wish I could be more like him. He's my true inspiration in this world. The media landscape is changing in the world of wrestling over the next few years everywhere. It's a big thing. Where would you like to see things go for AEW? <sighs> as high as I possibly can, you know? I am... My heart is with AEW. It really is. Uh, you know. did, did it give a wrestlers an option that wasn't there 10 years ago? Yes, of like, course. I mean, That's when you started, was it hard just, like, how am I going to get into this? Like, there weren't a lot of options. I mean, thank God for AEW, honestly. Because, you know, there was a time where I wasn't happy where I was. And if it weren't for All Elite Wrestling, Tony Khan, I don't know what I would have been doing. Don't know. I'm not sure of the tra trajectory of my life, where it would have gone had I not had the option to come to All Elite Wrestling. So I'm very thankful for it. Now, you're based down here in Florida, yes. but you never live here. You're no. constantly on the road. Are you a, like, what is life like for you? I mean, it's, you know, it's, I live on the road. And when I'm not on the road, I'm in my mansion. You're in your mansion. My mansion. And are you hurting? Oh, I've always been hurting. Really? Yes, I've, uh, I've been doing this for more than half of my life now. More than half of your life? More than half. Since I was a 13-year-old wee little girl, I have not stopped, and I don't know if I ever will. Does, I mean, are you able to live with the injuries? I mean, how do you cope day to day, like after a brutal match? Luther, uh, he, you know, he doubles down as quite the, um, he's quite the good chiropractor. Not many people know that about him. Really? Yes, he's a fantastic chiro man, yes. He has all the gadgets, all kinds of stuff, cups, the whole thing. I don't know what he does. Okay. Yeah, but he's good. I'm well, still standing. Timeless Tony Storm. It was an absolute pleasure. Once again, April 24th, 27th, Dynamite on the 24th, Rampage and Collision at Daly's Place in Jacksonville, of course. Tony, sir. Timeless, thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad I avoided the shoe. Thank you, sir. Thank you. For now. Thank you. <laughs> So once again, they'll be in Jacksonville uh, April 24th and 27th over at Daly's Place if you want to come or you're going to tune in to watch it that night if you're not in the area. But Tony Storm has really been an incredible talent. When I talked to Tony Khan late last year, he could not say enough about Timeless Tony Storm. They knew they had lightning in a bottle with her character, her ability to perform, stuff that they maybe never even saw in the years she had wrestled before now. She's really taken the industry by storm and really the, maybe the top female in the entire industry. So I want to thank you again for joining us for another episode of Going Ringside. We'll see you back here next time.
This has been Going Ringside with the local station. Brought to you every Wednesday on your favorite podcast player. On News 4 Jax Plus, as well as the News 4 Jax YouTube channel.